Hey-ho, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Fantasy Life. Now, last time, we achieved Master Rank in the Hunter Life. And today, we're going to see how close we can get to uh, mastering the Carpenter Life. So it looks like we're still quite far away. Um, let's see what we need. I Someone told me that you can get the uh, Moon Clusters, and this is one of the things which I was really worried about losing. Apparently moon clusters are really common amongst those um, glassy owls. So if I ever need moon clusters, go take out some glassy owls. Um, so I am going to do the port town. No, I'm not. <laughs> I need palm beams. I am going to make some palm beams. Okay, <laughs> can't believe that. I need to actually buy some of this stuff again. But it's alright. I should have enough here to actually make the palm beams. Can I not do this in auto mode? Yes, I can. Auto mode, finish please. <laughs> I'm so lazy. But hey, if you got the skill to do it, then go for it, you know what I mean? Awesome. So palm beam complete, probably didn't get any extras. We made five items. Yeah, no extras. So what? No big deal. Uh, we can now create... Dun -dun -dun -dun. I also want to make the orca bow as well. I want to see if I've got enough stuff to make that. Uh, port town wardrobe, because that's the thing that uses the moon cluster. Apparently you can get moon clusters back really easily. Okay, so let's do this, the chaka chaka, and then the hat, I mean, look at that, that is, oh my goodness, <laughs> this is creating port town items when you have insane carpentry skills, that's ridiculous how quickly I made, that's got to be top quality, right? Yeah, not surprised. <laughs> okay, that should be the quest done, very nice. Let's take a look at what else we need to do, I did see the orca bow as part of the, um, Wait, make a pirate cabinet and chest using mangrove bean. Mooncrest staff using fur beams, I can try that. One scarecrow. Oh, I think I know where to go to get the recipe for that. Um, forest chair. Forest, uh, the ten desert beans from desert logs. Do I have desert logs? I don't think so, because I haven't chopped any up. Um, I can probably buy some from Owl Magic, though. Let's just take a quick look to see if there are anything else we can make. Desert beam. No, I don't have any. I can make mangrove beams though. Um, oh, no, I didn't want to begin. I did not want to begin. I wanted to change the uh, quantity. So it's going to be another crafting episode, I'm afraid. I know these aren't the most entertaining, uh, but we do need to do them in order to master these lives. And it would be very cool if we can master every single life. Um, people have asked me if I'm going to be doing the DLC. And here's the problem with me doing DLC. If I do the DLC, I would have to buy it not only on my regular console, um, but also on my recording one, because I use two different consoles. I have like my main uh, new 3DS XL, which I use to play like games in my own time. And then I have a regular 3DS, like one of the first original ones, which I use to record with, because it's modified uh, so that I can actually output to my PC. Um, the DLC obviously is going to be tied to your Nintendo Network ID, um, which is obviously on my main console and not on my recording one. Um, and of course, save files as well. If you didn't know, there's save files for... What am I looking for here? I don't think I can actually make any of these. Oh, hang on, it was Pirate Chest and Cabinet? Oh, I can't remember now. I think it was the chest I needed. Oh yeah, because I needed the Time Worn Shell. I might try and get one of those, actually. Um, but yeah, the... Um, I'm getting lost. Marine Thread and Vivid Coral. Okay, I can get Marine Thread quite easily. Um, I get stumbled up. But basically, yeah. Um, um, the save files for Fantasy Life are console-specific. Even if you've got um, cartridges. Like, uh, if I was to plug my cartridge from... Uh, Fantasy Life from my current recording console to my new 3DS console, I wouldn't have the save file which I'm currently playing on screen for you guys. It would be a new save file. It wouldn't be there. So uh, if you didn't know, there you go. Um, you can happily hand your cartridge to a friend who can play and then um, not worry about them messing with your save file. What was I looking for? Vivid Coral. Actually, you know what? The um, the guy over here might sell a Time One shell since we upgraded the shopping if not, we can go take out one of the big uh, Titanics, I think they're called. Um, if not, this guy may sell the... Um... Oh, he doesn't sell it. Oh, no! 
He doesn't sell the vivid coral I need either. Huh. Okay, but I do know for a fact that um, the cloth lady over here, or boy, shopkeeper, should sell the marine thread. Um, I'm going to have to quickly, yeah, there we go, look. I need at least two of those. Um, let's just take a quick look. Okay, so. Interesting. Okay, I am going to be right back. I'm going to see if I can find where to get, um, what was it, the Vivid Coral? Let's quickly double check. I don't want to go to quests. I want to go to menu, licenses, recipes. Uh, weapons. So yeah, I need Vivid Coral. Okay, and what was the other thing I needed? Um, it was the Pirate Chest. Um, Pirate Cabinet, Pirate Bench. Pirate Chest. One time, one shell. Okay. Before I do that, actually, I remember someone saying that there's like a secret shop in Port Puerto in the... I believe the alchemy section. Well, no, the tailor. The tailor area. Someone told me there's a secret shop if you talk to the bird. So let's quickly check that out, and then I'll see if I can find the vivid coral and the uh, other thing. So if I talk to this parrot here, based. Chirp, chirp. Why, hello there, friend. Good morning, good evening. Are you working hard? Are you keeping busy? Nice to see you, chirp, chirp. Bye. Let's see. Glossy feather, fine feather. Wonderful buttons. Interesting if we ever need to come back here. Ah, <laughs> uh, but yeah, there's a, a little secret shop there. Wonderful string. I think you need the wonderful string for something, but yeah, fine feather and glossy feather. So yeah, um, I'm going to see if I can find those things. I will be right back. Okay. Alrighty, so I am back and I have information overload for you, which is not really an overload. So the uh, Titanics, which I thought dropped the, um, what what they called the Time Worn Shells, don't actually drop Time Worn Shells, but they do drop Vivid Corals. And there is an enemy boss somewhere in the, I think it was Nautilus Cave, I can't remember, but basically there's a, there's a Croc-a-Turtle, or Croc-Turtle, in one of the caves uh, in Port Puerto Tortuga Archipelago, um, which uh, drops the time-worn shells if you cash it in as a bounty. So, guess where we're going? Tortuga Archip Archipelago. Archipelago. I always say Archipelago, but it's Archipelago. I can remember this. Archipelago. Archipelago. So there's a turtle. Just got to find one of the Titanics. Usually there's loads of them surrounded by, like, the toothy piranha. Oh, there's a big shark. So, uh, the... Um, the... Titanic won't actually attack me until I attack it, because it's a passive mob. Um, let's just take out the enemies around it first. I want to be very careful and not attack the um, the actual turtle. Oh, never mind, Malcolm did it. <laughs> Good job, Malcolm. You know what? Let's um, let's actually switch to stun arrows. Oh, also, items. Hello. Fish scales. Fish scales. Let's try paralyzing this thing. Hero shot. Okay, and let's go for the paralyzation. Super stun. There we go. Do we not inflict stun to it? I don't think so, because he's not... Like, he doesn't have the status icon. Oh, there we go. I think he's... Yeah, he's zapping now, so he may get paralyzed. Very cool. Uh, let's just go for super scatter shot right close to him. Uh, the paralyzation works really well, apparently. Come on, Malcolm. Get up, buddy. Look, we're doing this. I remember having troubles against this guy before, but we seem to be holding up very easily. I want to go for super scatter shot, like, uh, the, after the jump shot, but I don't think he's going to be close enough, so I'm just going to go with a hero shot instead. Alright, here comes the super scatter shot. I should take him out. There we go. So he should drop... Oh, a moon cluster! Interesting. So we can just hand this bounty in straight away, why not? And uh, go hunt down a couple more, perhaps, Lee. Uh, you there! That is a Titanic. I can pay you 1800 dosh, very nice. And do you give me Vivid Coral? It's not a rare drop. I got an Ancient Shell. So you get Ancient Shells and uh, Vivid Corals. So we just got to take out a couple of them. I mean, it shouldn't be too hard. Uh, but I'm more interested in actually finding the... 
Ah, the other guy, that fish is asleep. There's a turtle again. There's a Titanic. Let's uh, take that one out. But yeah, I'm more interested in actually taking out the um, Crocker Turtle. No, don't attack the Titanic. Oh my goodness, Malcolm, you're an idiot. But you're my idiot. You're a lovable idiot. Take out the fish, take out the fish, take out the fish. Boom. I'm still using stun, which is good. That actually kind of helped. There we go. Didn't quite stun him there. It's fine. That should activate it. Yeah, he is flashing now, which is very good. And hero shot. Very nice. I'm just going to go for super scatter shot. I don't have enough SP. Okay. So I guess I'm just going for the hero shot. Malcolm fainted. Come back, buddy. Oh, he turned around. Did not expect that. You landed on my, my dog. What's up with that, bro? And hero shot again. The closest you can, or the closer you can pull a hero shot off to the enemy, the more damage you do because it's sort of like a pair shot. So I'm gonna wait for. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna wait for him to do his uh, jump attack. He's doing one now, actually. There we go. Should be able to take him out with one more. There we go. Oh, I thought I nearly took out the bounty. Ancient Shell. Okay, he dropped one that time. Don't have to turn it in to get one. Uh, but yeah, let's just turn this one in anyway. And uh, then go after that Crocker Turtle. Because I think that's actually all of the Titanics we can take out here. I mean, once we come out of Nautilus Cave, we can take out a uh, couple more Titanics anyway. Please give a vivid coral. <gasps> oh, nice. Very nice. So we got one out of two. Not too bad. Shame you can't buy these things, but eh. You know, Vivid Coral... Actually, no, I need it for the Orca Bow. So, yeah, I was going to say... Like, uh, it's one of those things where you don't have to farm a bunch of them, so you could just buy them and carry on doing it. But, no, you kind of do need to... Uh, this is not the correct direction. <laughs> the correction. Okay, it's actually down here, I believe. And from what I remember... I remember there being, like, a crocky turtle, like, as you enter. Hang on, this is going to be a Turtanic here? No, never mind. Through we go to the Nautilus Cave. Very cool. Okay, so there's some bats here. Let's take these out quickly. Shouldn't be too much bother. Pop, pop, pop. Okay, that was really slow. Obviously, I didn't do the supercharged one. Archery skill level increased, though. That's kind of cool. Um, one more bat over here. Very nice. Good job, Malcolm. Boink. Okay, is that him? Yeah, that, that must be him. Look at him. He's like a giant turtle. Let's go for Super Scatter Shot. Okay, well, I got one of them. Well, that was a very focused Scatter Shot, to be fair. <laughs> Let's uh, quickly use a high SP potion to get pretty much fully hit. Why don't I just sit down? Uh, sit. Good boy. Just heal all the way back up with my SP. And switch back to stun. Actually, you know what? Let's try poison. Poison should do some damage. And I meant to do that, like, before he entered. There we go. Um, that's alright, I guess. I can see that being more helpful than, um... Than... Scattershot. Not Scattershot, Stun. Because it's actually doing damage over time. I missed the Hero Shot, for real? Let's just go for the, um... Scattershot up there. Heal, please. There we go. This is easier than Titanic. Should take him out. Oh, I just missed. One pair shot should be good. There we go. He's not dead. There we go. Nice. Do we get it? Time on shell. We got it. We don't even have to hand in the bounty. Very cool. So let us quickly hand this in. Take out two more Turtanics and we'll call it an episode. Hopefully we get one more Vivid Coral. Because that would mean that we have enough to uh, make the Orca Bow and the... Other thing I was trying to make. Time one shell. Was it the pirate's chest? I can't remember. I need a time one shell for something. Hopefully I'll get another one from this uh, crocodile as well. That'd be cool if I got two. I'm going the complete wrong way, aren't I? It's up here. I knew that. See, look at me go. <laughs> Actually, there's no crocodile. Oh, Titanic even. I was going to say, it hasn't respawned. It's just moved. It's fine. Okay. Easy enough. I just want to hand these in so that I don't lose them. Okay, Crocker Turtle, 750 dash. That was a really easy fight, actually. Maybe it was weak to fire. Don't know. Two Time One shells now. Very cool. Very nice. All right, let's take out two more Turtanics, hand in the bounty, and call it quits for today. It's now morning, which is fun. I do like it when it's daytime. <laughs> um, I think they've moved. They've literally just moved. 
Alright, let's take out this Toofy Piranha here. And boom. No, attack. There we go. Okay, good. I just don't want to attack the Turtanic. Please don't attack the Turtanic. Not without me, Malcolm. Okay, just take out that guy first. Boom. Nice. Okay. Just make sure I go this side of the shark. Alright, Malcolm, second boy. Good boy. Okay. And Hero Shark. Yeah. So yeah, these guys must just have a bunch more health than the Crocker Turtle, because he was... Uh, to be, yeah, to be fair, he was quite small compared to this guy. This is a giant... Uh, turtle. Tortoise? Tur 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 Turtanic. That was it. He's going to do another jump shot. It's fine. And hopefully the Hero Shot will hit him. Don't have enough SP to pull off another Super Scatter Shot, but that really... I really do like how that works close range. Very cool. That's one more down. Favorite Coral? No, another Moon Cluster. You know, I might come back here for Moon Clusters. Is this a shell I can pick up? No. Alright, so we just gotta find... Oop, Bitey Shark. We just gotta find one more... There he is. Turtanic. And uh, take him out. And call it quits. Please give me a Vivid Coral. I really wanna... What is that? Oh, that is the Blizzard Bird. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm not looking forward to that. Okay. That's a nice Turtanic. You play 1800 Dosh. You know, it looks like the um, the feather we got at the beginning of last episode... Oh, we got the Vivid Coral! Nice! I'm going to take out the last one anyway. It looks like the feather we got at the beginning of last episode is actually from the Blizzard Bird. Not the Blizzard Bird. Yeah, the Blizzard Bird. So it makes me wonder what you get from the Big Beak, you know? Malcolm, good job. You're the best friend I could ask for. Attacking the Turtanics just straight away. Let's take out a little Toofy Prana first, thank you. The scatter shot there worked very nice. And very nice. Actually, you know, doing the big scatter shot here is... Oh, I mistimed that completely. Malcolm, come back. Let's pick this up, fish scales. Waiting for him to jump. Because he should get closer. Okay, and then go in for the jump shot, scatter shot. I keep mistiming the jump shot. It's bad. It's bad. Let's just go for the super scatter shot. Oh, just before he goes into shell, that was a bad idea. I don't have enough SP to pull that off, so let's just go for the normal one. There we go, dead. That wasn't an amazing fight, but oh well. So this will be it then, hand in this bounty. We'll call it quits for today. Didn't really do that much carpentry, but we will do next time. Gonna make an orca bow. We're gonna make that pirate chest as well, it's gonna be very cool. So did we get another vivid coral? Ancient shell, oh well. So thank you all very much for watching. Uh, of course, we'll see you all next episode. Bye guys.